If you have around $500 to spend and you want a gaming PC that's going to deliver very good performance, this video is definitely going to be for you. I will show you a PC build that's amazing for 1080p and is also 1440p ready at $500. I will tell you the level of performance that you are going to get just in case you are new to PCs and all the links to these components will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. For the CPU we have the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. This one is going for around $75 on the used market and it's going to deliver excellent performance. This is a 6 core processor that's not going to bottleneck our GPU which is the most important part and if you want a brand new CPU because you don't want to buy from the used market you may want to consider the Ryzen 5 5500 or the i3 12100F. But in my opinion the Ryzen 5 3600 is the best one in terms of price to performance if you buy it from the used market. Then moving on to the the motherboard we have the asus prime b450m-a this one is a nice motherboard for just 80 dollars and it has enough features for gaming it's not the most complete motherboard out there by any means but it's going to get the job done and remember that we are working with 500 dollars so we gotta get a very good value components then for the memory kit we have 16 gigs of the r4 memory which is going to be enough for gaming you may consider 32 gigs if you want to do streaming or you want to have multiple tabs open on different screens but 16 gigs of ram is enough for gaming then for the storage we have a 1TB Gen 3 SSD for $58 in the PNYCS 1030, really good drive and 1TB is the standard for gaming. Then for the graphics card and this is the most important component when it comes to gaming performance, you have two options. The first option is going with the RX 5700 XT from the used market, going for around $135 and the other option is going with the Intel Arc A750, brand new and I do recommend you getting this one especially if you do not want to buy from the used market. The Intel Arc A750 is about 5% faster than the RX 5700 XT so very similar in terms of gaming performance but it's much newer than the RX 5700 XT. Anyway from the latest test from Textbot at 1080p on a 15 game average on high demanding titles such as Cyberpunk 2077, The Last of Us Part 1 and very high demanding games the RTX 3060 which is very similar in terms of performance to the Intel Arc A750 and also the RX 5700 XT was able to average 80 FPS so this is a really nice number especially considering that we are talking about high demanding titles titles on high to ultra settings and both of these GPUs the 5700 XT and the ARC A750 are 1440p ready now they are not the best 1440p GPUs out there and if you want to play for example cyberpunk on ultra settings with ray tracing on then of course these are not the right GPUs for you but if you want to play popular titles such as GTA 5 or even games like Red Dead Redemption 2 medium to high settings 1440p is definitely going to be possible and if you want to play esports titles such as Fortnite, Valorant and CS2 at 1080p you will be able to achieve 165 plus FPS on average so if you want a 144 hertz monitor or 165 hertz one for 1080p resolution is not going to be an issue overall in my opinion this is very impressive performance considering that you are spending around 500 dollars of course if you get the Intel Arc A750 the price is going to be higher but I will talk about prices in a second for the case we have the Montec Air 100 ARGB Micro ATX Mid Tower case I've been recommending this case a lot because of its price to performance it's 60 dollars and it has four pre-installed fans which means that you don't have to install more fans yourself. These are beautiful ARGB fans and on top of that you get a great front mesh panel so in terms of airflow you have no issues which is great. And last but not least for the power supply we have the Apipia Prestige 600 watt 80 plus volt power supply. Very solid unit if you're going to buy a budget system like this one. So let's talk about pricing. If you get the Intel Arc A750 the total price for the system is going to be around $550 when I'm recording this video and if you get the 5700 XT from the used market the price is going to be around $500 and remember that no matter which one you get the performance is going to be great for 1080p and also I want to mention that if you want to do streaming on YouTube the Intel Arc A750 option is going to be a much better one because you get AV1 encoding so the image quality for your YouTube streams is going to be much better and if you want a pre-built PC instead because you do not want to go through the process of building it yourself I completely understand that you will have my video on the best pre-built PCs for 2024 in the top right of the screen where I go go over every budget and every resolution so there's a PC for everyone there. And if you have any questions regarding this PC or just any system that you want to buy let me know in the comment section I will try to reply as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.